Andrew, good day and welcome to Cartel. How are you going? Good. How are you going? <laughs> Pretty good, thanks, <laughs> mate. Good. Now, we're in your 61 V dub, yep. 23 window, deluxe. Mate, this is one of the high tech V dubs I've ever seen. Tell me a little bit about the car. Well, it's a, as you said, a 23 window deluxe bus. Um, one of only a few ever imported into Australia. Factory walkthrough, which was a rare option, with a factory sidestep that comes out on the side. We can maybe shout yep. it later. But, um, but yeah, it's just a, uh, an original old bus, which is um, pretty much in original condition. Fantastic. Now, how do you acquire the bus? <sighs> a bit of a long story, but a short story. Um, oh, look, I've had it probably 25 years, so it's a long, long, a long time ago. You've been um, in the V-dubs for a long time, then, mate. Yeah, very long time since, a, you know, since a. Well, you're only 26 now. All oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. Look, it's a long, long time ago, but it was just by um, new of the bus. Circumstances arose where it came that I could buy it, yep. which actually my brother did, All and right. um, I was in the interstate at the time. He bought it, and um, we've had it ever since. Yeah. And this is the same condition the the bus what you brought it? Pretty much. Like I said, it's had a few things done to it, a little yeah. few touch ups, but um but every, apart from a few touch ups, yeah, definitely hundred percent original. Okay, so for the viewers at home who really don't know much about V dubs, mm -hmm. tell us through the running gear and all the rest of the car. Yep, it's uh twelve hundred, forty horse. That um, much. <laughs> 40, 40 horsepower, reduction box gearbox, um, drum brakes all around. Um, yeah, fifteen inch uh, wheels on it. Um, they used to have cross plies obviously, put some radials on it if the, if the white wall strip, yeah. um, just to you know, make it handle a little bit better. Mm -hmm. But yeah, otherwise um, yeah, it's stock as a rock. It is stock as a rock and you know, I can see that you haven't done really much with the interior or the rest of it, but I, I like that originality of the car and that means that it hasn't been dicked around with, haven't been messed around. And these cars actually are going up in value, not only just in Australia but across the world as well. Yeah, well, look, they're hard to find. I mean, as you can imagine, during the 70s, I mean, they were really worth nothing. You know, once the, the bay window combi came out, which yep. was the, the, the next generation with the single-piece windscreen, um, these just really fell to the wayside. No one wanted them. Yeah. I mean, they were like prehistoric, mm. you know, compared to one of those. They, these were slow, didn't handle, and they just became worthless, and people just used them as garden sheds and, you know, just hacks to around properties, and hence why not many survived in the end, you know. And they were just literally, engines were taken out for beach buggies. Yes. That's probably the biggest thing. The engines and gearbox were used for beach buggies and stuff like that, and the rest just got turfed out, and hence why, you know, really there's not that many left, you know. Um, I mean, Australia had quite a big market. We produced the combi here yeah. from from the beginning to the end, pretty much. Now, what do you mean from the beginning to the end? What oh, years? Oh, from they from '55 yeah. until '76 when the factory closed. We produced, you know, produced combis here, um, and about 80,000 were made here in Australia. Yeah. Um, so, like, I mean, that's quite a lot of cars. Um, but yeah. All right. Now, you've had this car for quite a long yeah. time. Having the car for such a long time, have you noticed just of recent times getting more people uh, paying attention to this kind of car because of the value that's been going up? Definitely. That's that's probably the only reason why people do pay attention. You yeah. know, a hundred dollar car but suddenly become worth a few thousand dollars has got that attention. Now, it's a little bit of that nostalgic thing too, you know, they look obviously quite different to everything else on the road. But um, but really the dollar value has, has changed the the, the playing field, you know, mm. from something that was worth nothing that no one wanted to because it's worth something they all want now. Yeah, that's yeah. true, supply yeah. and demand. Yeah. Now, one of the biggest issues that are happening in our time yeah. right at the moment with VW is about the emissions trading and that kind of <laughs> stuff. Do you have a problem with that at the moment? In this car? No, 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 <laughs> oh, you got, not. You got yeah, it. Yeah, no, 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 definitely not. No, because obviously this is not diesel. Diesel, no, 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 no. You know, might be, yeah, no, definitely not. So. And Our, actually, but if I can say something, yes. the biggest problem we do have, both of these older cars, is this unleaded fuel, where it's eating our fuel lines, yes. in a, you know, destroying fuel pumps. That's that's the big problem we've got now with with the fuel issue. Not so much the diesel issue, yeah, but, yeah. but the fuel issue. All right. So what do we get? To, how do we get around that? Uh, can we do anything as uh, car owners of veteran cars, or what else can be done? <sighs> Well, I mean, really, we've got to go back to leaded fuel and whatever formulas I were using. But otherwise, I mean, if you're storing your cars and stuff, you've just got to keep a minimal amount of fuel in the car. And then when you're ready to take it for a run, pour your 10 litres in, you go and use that up. And as I said, the more fuel you leave in the tank, the worse it makes the problem. Mm. So, yeah. Okay. Now, uh, before we wrap up, any other future plans for the car? 
Nah. Just leave it as no, it is because it's been, been like this. Nah, the stock is right. Nah, nah, it's original. I mean, you can't replicate originality. I mean, you can spend a million bucks, but you'll never get that you get that same look. And I mean, it's a piece of history. And it, especially with something like this being Australian yeah, delivered. Yeah. It's just, you know, there's not many cars. I mean, whether it be VW, Holden, Fords, once a car's restored, it's lost that that yes. factory thing about it, you yeah. know, so. Absolutely. Now, one thing I've always found out is, yeah. From a VW that has split windows, yeah. are you actually able to uh, drive it with the split window open? You can, but it's it's um, if you've ever ridden a push bike at um. Go, you mate. So I keep going. <laughs> if you've ever ridden a push bike at high speed and trying to drive with no glasses on, it's impossible. Yeah. So it's really only a low speed thing. You know, you wouldn't be doing 100 kilometres an hour and trying to drive with the uh, you know the yeah. safaris open. Because that's what they call safari windows. Safari windows. All right, nice split. Thank you very much for that. All right, Andrew, beautiful car, Thank great you. original V-Dub. Thank you very much for being on Bumper to Bumper. Great show. Keep watching. Okay, thank you. See ya. Bye.